I'm going to show you how I'm getting ready to bike 300 kilometers tomorrow, Saturday, March 23rd, as a fundraiser for cancer charity. So uh, in June, I will be riding two events, a total of 750 kilometers. So the first one is Unbound Excel. I'm driving to Kansas. Uh, Emporia and I'm participating in a 550 kilometer gravel race. Okay. I went there last year. I did this whole scenario last year and I didn't get to finish it because I missed a time cutoff at uh, 500 kilometers. And um, so I'm going back to finish that. Then I drive over to Toronto for the following weekend to do this cancer charity ride called the ride to conquer cancer It's for the princess margaret uh cancer research center they're one of five main research centers in canada so there we go there's my plates up there where are we so that's the ride to conquer cancer plate this is the xl plate from last year and um, so I just decided, um, I was inspired by one of my friends, Steve Merker, who is actually the uh, one of the executives for the Princess Margaret Cancer Research Center. And he did this 300 kilometer charity fundraiser for himself on Swift in February. And I'm like, eh, that is super cool. I would like to do something. I've never done anything like this. So um, I don't know. I will be live in TikTok at some point during the day because um, I will be starting early in the morning and uh, riding 12 hours. So <laughs> 12 hours or 300 kilometers, whatever comes first. But if I reach 12 hours, I'm sure 300 kilometers will be close. However, I'm very anxious at the fact that um, I have ridden 300 kilometers and it took me a, a really long time. But inside is different for so many reasons. Like on Swift, I've organized two group meetups, one at 8.30 and one at 1.30 for four hours. So you can come and join me uh, if you want to do 100K with me. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing. And um, mark in the comments if you've been watching this far and you want to join and you're on Swift and uh, follow me, Sylvie Dew on Swift and I will add you to the event. All right, so this setup, this is just some of the food. Um, I will have uh, two bike shorts. I will probably make a change if I'm really feeling it. Um, there is electrolytes here, so that's high carbs. I have my, um, new, uh, where is this infinite nutrition? And this is an endurance blend. So, and then I have some scratch hydration, but my go-to hydration is, where is it? Hmm. Amped hydrate. This I can use in almost two to three bottles. It is so condensed. Um, I love it. And I, that's my fave. Um, so chamois butter, uh, lip gloss, chamois butter, of course, <laughs> 300 kilometers. You're going to need, uh, my headband and, uh, <sighs> gloves. Uh, I've got my chocolate. So I got some girl gag cookies left. I was snacking on those the other day. Uh, this is just the sugar stuff, right? This is not the whole thing. I have bars here from Chrono. I love those. Um, those are good. I have other one, Isogenics bars. I do like these. Um, I do not go for the sugar. This is just like a treat. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen and um, here are some other things that I have set up. So this will be lunch. So my kids will have a schedule they'll fire that up for me and give me half for lunch um so i'll have pizza i might even ask for a mcdonald's run um i'm gonna make some this is sweet potato and so what i do is i'm gonna make it into a i'm gonna put it in these reusable food pouches 
so that I can just eat it while I'm on the bike. So I love sweet potato for that. It's huge in carbs um, and energy. And also um, rice. I am making these, this rice recipe. So it's coconut rice squares. Um, that will be part of my cinnamon raisin bagels are my fave. So I'll have, um, I'll just, I can just snack on those. Also what I like to make. Uh, peanut butter and jelly and cheese wraps. Those go a long way for me on my bike. Maybe a banana or two. I don't know. So I have my one liter bottles, one with water, one with mix. I will definitely have my Isogenix shakes as a meal replacement. Um, I will probably add... I bought these add that and I'll probably make some oatmeal um, for breakfast uh, but I'll be making my schedule today and, um, and I'll have the kids help me for tomorrow bring stuff down I will take a couple breaks obviously I'll need my husband will bring my coffee oh and um, I might make up some pancakes as well so I have lots of things to snack on as I ride so like I said Inside is not as taxing as riding outside. Um, and I'm hoping it'll go a lot faster uh, with my group. So I have quite a few people joining me at 8.30, which is good because in Swift, traveling in a group goes a lot faster than by myself. Um, and um, so yeah, so if you wanna join, if you wanna donate, uh, the link will be in uh, the description and yeah, so wish me luck. There's me the first year that I did it. I went there all by myself and I met a lot of people and I had a ton of fun. Um, and we're still looking for people to join me, join the team. I'm riding with Scotiabank this year. Look who I met, George Hincampy. Ah! And Jan's bike storage at, uh, at uh, Hamilton, in Hamilton. Lunch on the Hammer Ride. The start. Yay! The start. This is last year, biked with my girlfriend Wendy and Jen, and these are the guys from Team Scotiabank, and they were super amazing. This is the buddy I'm riding for. He just passed away in February. Uh, he had two different types of cancers, one a lung and I, uh, one a throat and one, a, I think it was a lung, but just like, miss you, man. This is me last year. Yay. Thanks a lot, friends. And um, if you can't join, donate. Every little bit counts. Thanks. Unbound XL, I had to add this picture after 500 kilometers.